Guys, my name is Ankush Kaurav and I welcome you to Contu series. This tutorial is in continuation with the earlier one where I showed how to use the concept of an interceptor with the help of a very simple example in this demo application. So overall what I did in the previous tutorial, I included a Java class with the name day of week based access interceptor in this application and also included this code snippet here in the springs configuration file. So after both these modifications in this application, now when any user would try to make any web page request to this application, this application is going to first make a call to this method. And if this method returns true for that request, it's only then the application would further handle or process that request. And if this method returns false for that request, in that case, the application is going to send the response back to the client's browser from here itself without further handling or processing that request. And all this we learned in a detailed way in the previous tutorial. Now let's proceed further and learn about the same concept in a little more depth. Guys, in addition to pre-handle method, handler interceptor adapter class provides two more important methods with the name post handle and after completion. So let us override both these methods in this Java class and later I would explain in detail what exact purpose these methods serve to us. Cool. So here I have overridden post handle and after completion methods in this Java class which are provided by handler interceptor adapter class. Now let's learn in detail what exact purpose these two methods serve in a Spring MVC application. Guys, what exactly happens when this method returns true for any web page request which comes to this application? The application further handles or processes that request. So what exactly that means? This just means that application performs two major steps in order to produce the response object for that request. First, it makes a call to an appropriate request handler method which would be present in some control class in the application. And then it makes a call to an appropriate view file and whatever outcome or response object view file gives to the application, the application simply returns that as a response web page back to the client's browser for that request. Now, what if you want your application to perform some task right after it executes the request handler method and also some task right after the view file produces the response object. Let's say what I want in this application when I would make any web page request to it and this method returns true then while processing that request this application should print this simple message on the console after it executes the request handler method for that request and this simple message after the view file produces the response object for that request. So question is how we would do it and the answer is with the help of post handle and after completion methods. Guys the concept is Spring MVC makes a call to post handle method after it executes the request handler method for a request and it makes a call to after completion method after the view file produces the response object for a request. So as per our requirement let us put this SOP over here and this one over here and check this working on the browser after all these modifications. So now if I type this URL and press enter, let's see what happens. Cool. The application has sent this response web page back to me for this URL. Now let's see on the console what it has printed. Cool. The application has printed these two statements as per our expectation. So what exactly happened when I made a web page request to it after all these modifications that is including post handle and after completion methods here. After receiving the request, the application first made a call to this method that is pre handle method because today is Thursday. So this application returned true and the application 
then made a call to this request handler method. After executing it, the application made a call to post handle method as per our expectation and printed this message on the console in this first message. And then the application made a call to this view file. And when this view file produced response object, the application made a call to after completion method as per our expectation and printed this message on the console in this second message. And then the application returned the response object back to me here. All right, guys, let's learn about one more important thing before I wind up this tutorial. In the Spring's configuration file, if you observe, I included this code snippet. So what exactly this code snippet means, which I included in the previous tutorial. Here with this code snippet, I'm simply instructing Spring MSC framework. Hey, Spring MSC framework, please consider this interceptor class for every web page request which would be coming to this application. Now, what if you want this application to consider this interceptor class for only a specific URL request and not for every URL request which would be coming to this application? Say for example, what I want here is this application should consider this interceptor class only for this URL and not for any other URL request. So question is how would do it and the answer is by making a slight modification over here you just need to include this interceptor tag and put this pin inside it and on top of this pin you just need to mention for which url you want this application to consider this interceptor class because i want this interceptor class to be considered only for this URL request. So I would copy this URL pattern and would paste it here. So after this modification, now this application is going to consider all methods of this interceptor class only for this URL and not for any other URL request which would be coming to this application. Guys, in the next tutorial, we will learn how to use the concept of an interceptor in order to perform some advanced level tasks in your Spring MSC application like supporting multiple languages, supporting multiple themes, etc, etc. Guys, a big thank you for learning Spring MSC with me. If you have any feedback or comments, please provide them below the video or simply write to me on this email ID for all of your queries. Please hit the like button if you really like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel Gone2Series and I'm gonna catch you in the next part of this tutorial.